Hello, welcome to Creo Parametric 3.0. Today we are going through the Sketcher module of Creo Parametric 3.0. Next is Feature Requirement. Feature Requirement is a inspection tool that provide you the requirements of any feature you selected. In our first video, we have seen that Creo is a feature-based modeling, feature-based modeler. Okay, so I will show you something. If I go for extrude and define a sketch, then it will show me each section must contain geometric entities. If I put some geometric entities over here and go for it, section contain section must contain geometric entity status yes and feature specific requirement is specified yes fulfilled yes okay so this can be extruded next is i will take revolve feature and go for define use previous and select this one text entities are not allowed section must contain geometric entities I will provide the same. I will create this one and go for it again. Section must contain geometric entities. Text entities are not allowed. Right. The feature specific requirement is fulfilled, but the center line for revolve is not found. There is so a triangle of yellow sign. Means it will require the center tri uh, center line to do the revolve but if you don't need the center line and want to make revolve you can revolve by using this line okay or x axis or y axis okay so this is not a warning informant warning that creo doesn't found the center line for revolve okay now I will delete these things. Okay, this is a model tree. You know very well. Sketch. Next is overlapping geometry. First, I draw a line. Second, I draw one more line. Now these things are overlapping. So if I click on overlapping geometry, it will highlight it with red, red color. Go for overlapping geometry. This is not overlap. This is not overlap, but these two are over have overlapping geometry. Now I have to delete this line. So the overlapping was removed. Next is close highlight open ends this will highlight open ends of your geometry if your loop is not closed then extrude is not possible in solid extrude will be surfaces so if you want to see the highlighted ends of your curvature or your geometric entities you can keep it on next is shaded closed loop i will make a closed loop like this one then it will be shaded if i remove this it will be non shaded okay so this is the inspection tool next is intersection point go for intersection point select the intersecting geometry So you will find an information window over here and find the information about the point of intersection. Angle of slope of red entity, angle of slope for blue entity and curvature of both the entities. There is no curvature because there is no, there is two are straight lines. Okay. Next is tangent.
tangent point select the circle and line it will provide your tangent point and angle of tangency of your line it's 20 degree and 0.36 radius of your tangency to the circle or tangency between circle and line okay this is only used for information and then last one was entity information about any entities this entity id has one type line length of entity 3366.29 and slope of entity next is select the circle so it will provide the data of circle entity id 5 entity type circle radius of entity is and length of entity means its parameter perimeter so this is how we find the information window and information about entities intersecting point and tangency okay now thank you